it's Hibba Berry, your live reporter here at our last panel of the semester for fall 2017 for film and TV. We of course have amazing panelists from ABC, Disney, as well as Lionsgate, you guys. We have so many more. And don't forget to keep watching for our exclusive interviews. I'm here with Leti Poulos, who is a Disney Channel research analyst. So what does your day-to-day -day duties consist of? Well, we are in charge of basically informing our key stakeholders, which would be the marketing team or the programming team, about how our series are doing. Um, I've done the rating side where basically once everything's compiled by Nielsen, we tell them uh, with an actual number how we're doing, how we're, what, what our best show is, what's working, what's not working, and mm -hmm. also versus competition. And now that I'm on the primary side, what we do is we pilot test and so see kind of how uh, either an idea could go with kids or what how, or the health of our current series how it's doing if the if the humor is landing if the work if the characters are working kind of just and inform them about being able to can maybe direct the creative um, in a different direction if that needs to be or if it's working just do more of that so and now obviously working in the TV industry what kind of duties or um, things can you expect in that industry well <laughs> it's a good it's a good question um, the, the the landscape has changed drastically over mm -hmm. the last few years but it, especially in the last couple of years uh, the way people uh, view content is changing right. very rapidly and so we're having to basically adjust to all of that so just it's a lot of flexibility and willingness to learn and kind of be able to figure out what what's working and what's not working and how to adapt to that perfect so. well again thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for having me and once again this is Letty Poulos who is speaking at today's film and TV panel I'm here with Kamara Rose who is an archival producer so now you're also an independent filmmaker yes so what was it like taking that first leap and just going for it it was interesting um, Sometimes it's a little bit scary because you're wondering, can I really do this? And we just kind of stepped out and just did it. So it was very rewarding. And you've produced, you've written, and you've directed, and also even worked in casting. So you've done it all. So what has been yes. the most challenging for you? The most challenging, I would say, was probably doing my first short film because we needed to come up with the money. And without the money... You can't do anything. Right, right. So. Yeah, that was the biggest challenge. Um, and just finding a crew and people that really believe in the project as much as you do so that you can turn out with a good product. So. And that perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. And once again, this is Kamara Rose, who is speaking at today's film and TV panel. I'm here with Ryan Swenson, who is a manager of film and TV music at Lionsgate. So I have to ask you, yes. you your name is credited in La La Land. Yes. So what was that involvement like for that film? Well, it all started with a script, and we read that a couple years ago. And um, it ended up blossoming into this huge musical and project that I was fortunate to work on. And um, I was involved in the soundtrack process, so that usually wow. comes in post. And uh, we partner with Interscope Records. And anywhere from getting the key art for the soundtrack to getting all the tracks mastered and out the door and you know having it come full, back full circle into a product that goes in people's stores is, is what happens, just comes full circle. So and We're here today at the Film and TV panel today, yeah. so what advice would you want to give to students that want to go into this industry? Um, I think the most valuable advice that I could give to a question like that would be to um, just prepare your resume and don't apply to the top companies you want to go to right away because you'll refine your process, you'll refine your resume, the lingo that you tie it to whoever you want to end up applying to. So maybe start off a little slower and then as soon as you get your rhythm down and you get people starting to respond, then go to the big companies that you're super interested in. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Ryan, thank you again so much for being here today. Thank you. And once again, this is Ryan Swenson, who is here at today's film and TV panel. I'm here with Ryan Rodarte, who is a marketing specialist at NATPE. Now, you had the opportunity to net, or, uh, intern for Oprah Winfrey. So what mm. was that like? Uh, it was very intimidating at first, um, because when you hear just the name Oprah itself, you're like, oh, like Queen Oprah. And yeah. actually, we just would call her Queen O all the time. And uh, it was very, it was very fun. Um, just the entire environment was really cool. Dr. Phil would come in. Um, the actual work was very interesting too, especially because I was there for the launch of the actual OWN network. It was very uh, like inspirational just to be a part of the launch of the OWN just franchise, pretty much. Right. And now also you're a Cal State Fullerton alumni. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you want to give to students that are here today that want to go into this industry? Um, especially here at Cal State Fullerton, um, there's so many resources that we have here, whether it be the College Career Center or the website. Mm -hmm. uh, just make sure you utilize it because right. that's the biggest help you have. Uh, you know, they say um, that, you know, you have to have your resume, your cover letter, and you, indeed you do, but you 
you need to put in the work to get it. Thankfully, at Cal State Fullerton, uh, it is a requirement to have internships right. for each one of your majors. Uh, for me, I was a double major in cinema and television arts, as well as communication, uh, entertainment, tourism. So I had to have two internships, uh, one for each. And at first, I was really bummed about it because I was like, well, can it count for both? And they were like, no. <laughs> so uh, I was just actually, now I'm thankful for the fact that I had to have two internships because uh, the most important thing is just meeting people, networking, mm -hmm. connecting to people. And uh, thanks to Cal State Fullerton, just use all your resources because uh, that's what's going to pay off in the end. Perfect. Well, Ryan, thank you again so much for being here thank today. You. And once again, this is Ryan Rodarte, who is here at today's film and TV panel. I'm here with Ramsey Bettendorf, who is a senior manager for digital media at ABC Disney Television Group. So now you've had 25 years of experience in this industry. So what is it like to watch this industry change as far as technology and social media emerging? It's been so dynamic. It's interesting because when I started in this industry, what I will do today didn't even exist. Wow, okay. So it's been um, this evolution of watching television really come into its own on a new platform, entirely new environment, a whole new mode of distribution. Mm -hmm. And it's been great because I've got to be in sort of the first wave of its advancement, which has been really exciting. Wow. And you've also worked for Paramount, CNN, Fox, Walt Disney Company. So do all of those companies kind of operate in the same way or are they different? They do operate in the same way in that I've been lucky enough to work in television and each of those I've been kind of lucky enough to work in areas where they've been on the forefront of something new, whether it's been HD television or sports promotion or um, entertainment packaging for distribution into syndicated platforms, which is just a fancy way of saying putting something out there that's on a distribution mode that doesn't previously exist, mm -hmm. um, which has been nice, but they're you know unique um, in that they each have their own different way of doing business, they each have their own way of looking at the business and kind of putting their own sort of tweak on it, which has been nice for people who want to go in and learn something new or add some skill set to their overall you know, repertoire or their resume. Perfect. Well, Ramsey, thank you again so much for being here today. Sure. And once again, this is Ramsey Bettendorf who will be speaking at today's film and TV panel. Well, you guys, ETC does it again with another successful semester with amazing panels that we have put on. And also, don't forget to watch out for spring 2018. We already released our lineup for those events, so make sure to check out our social medias for all those details. And also, don't forget our community event is on November 29th. And once again, this is Hibba Berry as your ETC Live Reporter.